Hey everyone, uh, this is Elenor here. We're going to do a quick uh, tutorial on how to do a uh, your bridge, your Quixel bridge to Blender plugin guide. And so I'm going to give this to you here and just follow along. First you're going to open up your bridge and Blender software. Just go ahead and have it open. You don't need to do anything special at the moment. Have bridge active. Go to edit. Manage plugins. And you'll see this Blender thing here at Manage Plugins, and it'll have an icon over here for you to d download that plugin. Once it says download it, exit out of that. Go back to your settings, and open your edit, go to settings, and you're gonna see your file path, your library path here, or to Quixel. I'll open that just to make it so much easier. So you're gonna go to support, plugins, blender, 3.7, and you have your MS plugin. This has your Python file that uh, <clears throat> Blender will take to install. What you're going to do is you're going to go to that. You're going to zip it. You're going to zip the file. Yeah. And since that's done, oh, no, nope, hold on. We're going to go back. And we're gonna go back into that, and you want to get your file path. So you get your file path up here. That's all. I'm just gonna copy it down. Yours is gonna vary. Go ahead. Go ahead and exit out of that. All right, you got Blender. Open that back up. Go to Edit, Preferences, your Add-ons. It's like you're installing a new add-on. Basically, go to Install. Go ahead and put your uh, path in here. It'll open it, hit enter. And then you'll see your zip file in there. You just install add-on. And it'll pull it up. If it, It'll pull it up for you. Mine's already installed, but this is just another quick way to show you again. Go ahead and type in Quixel. And you have import Megascans plugin. So once you do that, close Blender so you can refresh both instances. You can open up your bridge again. And you might see an error where it says uh, failed to export to port 2888. Uh, don't worry about that. All you have to do, I'll show you real quick here in a second after uh, we do this. So we can go to collections or home, you know, whatever surface, uh, asphalt, why not? Fine, fine asphalt. So it says I'm not signed in. So sign in with your Epic account. Or with whatever account you have. So you get 2K, 4K, and 8K resolutions you could choose from. I'm just going to do 2K. So you see it's setting, a, setting up the extraction. Success. So I finished downloading. I'm going to hit export. And check our export settings real quick. So this is your export target. This is what, where you want to send it to. So go over here and do Blender. You can set, you know, the type of files your textures will come out. So JPEG, XER, PNG, TGA, or TIF. X, EXR is your highest bit file format. JPEG, it's more like a picture and your PNG is your, is, um, it's much better with scaling. So... We'll do EXR. File names. This would be like the file directory. So export target. I've already got the plugin installed. And we're going to export. So it's converting to four textures, converting it to the EXR files. Export successfully. If you have an issue with uh, it failed to due to a port, 
take note of that port number because you'll probably see it. it'll be like 28888 go down to edit settings and you get your API port and change that to the port that you were trying to go through and you should be good there you go guys and that's a guide to set up your Quixel bridge to blender functionality as well as you can use that to export to Unreal Engine as well and uh, I'll make another video for that once I get that set up thank you